Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear people of God, God is good, Amen. and all the time. Um, Father Albert, of the contemplative evangelizers of the heart of Christ, allow me to share with you something about the sacrament of baptism. We shall see first of all what is a sacrament. Sacrament is a visible sign of inward grace instituted by Christ to confer grace in, in us. And one of the visible signs, especially in this sacrament of baptism, is water. And so sacraments, they are not human or church invention. They are the efficacious signs of grace instituted by who? Instituted by Christ himself and entrusted to the church by which divine grace is given or is dispensed in us. Divine grace. If we talk of divine grace, we mean divine life, sorry. We mean the life of God himself. And so, baptism is a sacrament, and it is one of the seven sacraments instituted by Christ. And it is a sacrament of salvation, and also the door to all the other six sacraments. There is nobody who can get the other six sacraments without baptism. Baptism is called saving grace, the way you have said it. And this very presence enters into human souls. When we are when we are baptized, we get soft in God's divine life. And that is why when one is baptized, we say that I baptize you. That baptism, Baptina Baba, Ramana, Narong, Bakati. By these words, one gets soft for the man in God's divine life, in the Trinitarian use, Trinitarian formula. The sacrament of baptism is the beginning of our life, weak life, supernatural life. This supernatural life, some, we miss it. Why do we miss it? We miss it because of the original sin. We come into this world with a soul which is supernaturally dead. And the supernatural life, which is the result of God's personal and indwelling, is absent in, from our souls. When we read the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, sorry, to the Romans, chapter 3. St. Paul says that all of us, we have sinned and fallen short of the grace of God. We have all sinned and we miss this supernatural, to supernatural life. And that is why we need to seek for baptism, whether as infants or as adults. The original sin is the absence of something that should be there something we should be present and that something is the divine life which is dispensed in us through the first of all the sacraments, the sacrament of baptism. When we are baptized, when one is baptized, two, two things happen. One, we receive supernatural life called sanctifying grace ama kwa Kiswahili na ema ya utakaso the other thing that we get we also get a permanent mark or a permanent character in us because we are only being baptized once and for all then which are some of the reasons why the sacrament of baptism is important one because of the sacramental grace Neema. The grace of baptism is a rebirth in Christ 
and it opens a channel of blessing from God to the believer. When we read the whole conversation between Jesus and Nicodemus in the Gospel of John, chapter 3, we shall get this about the grace and the grace of baptism. It is the rebirth in Christ and it opens a channel of blessings from God to the believer. And it enables growth in virtue and holiness. Why are we being baptized? Baptism makes us a child of God. Baptism makes a person an adopted child of God. And God, God holds the baptized person and the person belongs to God. Before baptism, we are born by other things altogether. Before baptism, we can't proclaim that we belong to God. But when we are baptized, one belongs to God. We remember when Jesus was baptized, before he started ministry, the sound was heard. The sound that this is my beloved son, who will be man and compel him Nasithia, when we are being baptized, we become, one becomes a child of God. When one, one is baptized, he or she becomes the member of the church, the member of the Catholic Church. Baptism grants admission into the body of Christ, the church, St. Paul, in many of his letters. He calls the church the body of Christ. And because we are church members of membership, the baptism establishes a bond of fellowship with the community of believers and full partnership with the communion of saints of the living. Every baptized person is a member of Christ's church and as long as the bond of union is not broken, you know, sometimes the bond of union is broken after baptism. It is broken because of one, heresy. Heresy ni mafundisho ambayo haifai, wrong teaching. Schism, separation, when we leave the church to other denominations. And the most severe which breaks this bond is the so-called excommunication. Another reason is the gateway of sacraments, as we had seen earlier. Baptism is the first of all the sacraments. When we read the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 9, verse 18, and also chapter 22, verse 16, St. Paul when he was converted before his public ministry, he was baptized first. After his baptism, then he went on to evangelize to others. So baptism is the first of all the sacraments. It is the beginning and the foundation of Christian life of faith. It provides success to other sacraments. Another reason why we need to seek for the sacrament of baptism, whether as an infant or as an adult, is because of salvation. Baptism clothes a person with immortality and it gives a person a share in the redemption that Christ won on the cross and makes salvation. It unites a person to the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus. This we can refer to the letter of St. Paul, the Romans, chapter 6, from verse 3 onward. So baptism is necessary for our salvation. Many Catholics, when they are asked, are you saved? Even the baptized, some deny, they say, no, I'm not saved. 
say yes, I'm saved, so long as we are being baptized, because baptism, with baptism, we are saved, and we unite, it unites us to the life of Jesus, his death, and also his resurrection. If a person has lived to be of, or has lived for 180 or 70 years or so, and had a healthy and successful life, it means nothing without baptism. When Jesus was uh, addressing Nicodemus, he said this, baptism, we cannot inherit the kingdom of God. At wezi kuono falmo mwenyezi mungu bila sacramenti ya ubatezo. Another reason that why we need to seek for this sacrament is because of forgiveness. Msamaha. Baptism is a spiritual cleansing. All sins, both original sin and personal sin, all these are washed away and forgiven and purified. It makes one to be in a state of grace. Baptism in Atufanya to a Katika Hali and the Emma. Ne Emma Nini, or his well as Emma Ne Emma, himself and his moon, to not your power and his moon, Philip to Eze Shinda. So with, with baptism, we become in a, a state of grace. We remember this, oh, one of the incidences when Naaman was sent by prophet Elisha and he went and dipped himself seven times in uh, river Jordan. Leprosy was a sign of sin or any strange disease was a sign of sin and when Naaman was healed it was a sign that he was also forgiven. When we are baptized we are also being forgiven. Either personal sin or original sin, or both. When we are baptized as, uh, as infants, we are forgiven the original sin. As adults, original sin, and also personal sin. Another reason, and probably the last one I want to share with you, among, because there are still many others, is because with the sacrament of baptism, we get the gift of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit comes to a person through the sacrament of baptism. The Holy Spirit is the ongoing, indwelling presence of God which makes one the temple of the Holy Spirit. And we first get the Holy Spirit to Petia for sacrament in the baptism. Wakati Christo alibatizwa, roho mtakatifu akam, alimshukia. Nasi pia tunapubatizwa, tunapata still roho mtakatifu. And the Holy Spirit offers us so many things. Inspiration, enlightenment, guidance, courage, strength, motivation, and to live according, according to God's way. So we as Christians, we should not be afraid to be baptized. Neither should we deny our children the sacrament of baptism. Because with them, we get the gateway of all blessings. Who does not need a blessing? We others, we need blessings. Our children too need blessings. And the gateway to these blessings is the sacrament of baptism. Tukitaka mlango wa baraka kwa yote wa tutu wa mawazima tupate sacramenti ya ubatizo na watutu wetu pia wapate sacramenti ya ubatizo. I have some few scriptural texts that we can read some or all at home about the sacrament of baptism. The one which I've just mentioned, mentioned 
the Gospel of John, chapter 3, verse 3 on 1. Jesus tells Nicodemus, truly, truly, I tell you, unless one is born of water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Acts of the Apostles, uh, chapter 8, verse 36, about the eunuch whom Deacon Philip baptized. There was use of water, so water and baptism are never separated in the scriptures. And that is why true baptism also involves water. See over not any other thing but water. The Acts of the Apostles, chapter 10, verse 47. Peter was addressing the converts and he says, Can anyone forbid water for baptism for this? The second book of Kings, the one we have mentioned about Nahaman. Nahaman did himself seven times in the Hebrew Jordan and his flesh was restored like that of a child. Our life is also restored. You get that supernatural life, the one you have saved. You get the divine life when we are baptized. The way Nahaman was also his life, his flesh was restored when he dipped himself, himself seven times in the water. We Catholics, are we also being dipped in water? Yes. Sometimes we, we are being sprinkled with water or we can be dipped in water. Both are allowed in the Catholic Church, though we are only used with only one where water is being poured on our faces or our forehead. But dipping is also there in the Catholic Church. The Gospel of Matthew, Jesus talks about baptism as uh, necessary for our salvation. When he says, Jesus, when he commanded his apostles to baptize all people in the name of the Father and the Son and also of the Holy Spirit. And Peter, addressing also a, a congregation, was also uh, expressed this baptism necessary for our salvation when he compared baptism and also the act of Noah. First Peter chapter 3, 21. Mark 16, 16, Jesus says, He who believes and is baptized is saved. So why do we Catholics when you are being asked, when you are being pushed the corner, somebody asking you, are you saved? You say no. We should not say no. Jesus says, who oh, he believes and is baptized will be saved. In Gili, yeah, Marco 16, 16. Paul, when he was uh, baptized, in the Acts of the Apostles 9.16, Paul, even though he was deeply chosen by Christ and immediately converted to Christianity, still had to be baptized to be forgiven. And when we read 9, Acts of Apostles 9.18 and also 22.16, when he was, he was baptized, some scales fall from his eyes, sign of forgiveness. Wakati pia sisi tunabatizwa, kuna vitu vingine dambi zetu pia ziliondolewa. Vile dambi ya paulo pia ziliondolewa. The scales, they were the signs of his sins because he was a great persecutor. Then after the fall of the scales, 
he became a great preacher. Paul says in the first Corinthians 16 verse 11, Paul says that they were washed, sanctified, and justified in the name of in the name of the Lord Jesus. He was referring to baptism. My dear brothers and sisters, then why do our children or why do we have infant baptism? When we look in the Old Testament, the, there was the so-called circumcision. Circumcision was a kind of initiation. And sacrament or baptism is also a sacrament of initiation. Initiation the sac sacrament about in a twin visa. In a twin visa, Kateka Maisha Yamu, the divine life, as we had said. Genesis 17 to 12, Leviticus 12, 3, and many other texts. We get the text to show the circumcision of the eighth day old baby as a way of entering into the covenant with the world. We also enter into the covenant with the world in the sacrament of baptism, whether as infants or also as adults. Paul was baptized. Paul baptized the jailer as an adult and his entire household. The entire household means Mpaka Watoto, Acts of the Apostles in chapter 16, verse 33. Our water were baptism. We were libertism. Mpaka Nyumba Yake Yote. And Nyumba Yake Yote then why do we deny ourselves the, our children baptism? 1 Corinthians 1.16 Paul also baptized another person, Stephanus. Baptism, he baptized the household of the Eopos of Stephanus, and baptism is not limited to others. Ephesians 2, verse 3, we are born by nature children of wrath, in sin like all mankind, means both children and others. Kila mtu na kutakeka hali ya dhani, na tunasamelewa, na nizetu zinaondolewa, kwa sacramenti ya ubatizo. My dear brothers and sisters, allow me to finish with the text from the prophet Ezekiel. Ezekiel 36, 25. Ezekiel prophesies that God will sprinkle clean water on you and you shall be clean. The word sprinkle means that means what it says sprinkle, not immersion. That is why we Catholics we can use two, two types, either by immersion or by pouring, what we call it sprinkling. Let us all embrace the sacrament of baptism. Baptism become children of God, members of the church, and it also will begin the journey of our salvation. Jesus says, nobody enters the kingdom of God without born, being born again of water and also of spirit. May God bless us. We who have been baptized. Then we can ask ourselves, then after baptism, when one sees, that is not another sacrament that we shall share later on, the sacrament of reconciliation. So with all the sacraments, we journey together with the Lord, and the journey begins with the sacrament of baptism.
very early, according to the statute of baptism, according to the promises of the covenant we made with baptism, and the divine life, we always find less.